I feel like they literally got like that effect I wanted. I love the shaping of the eyes. I love the fact that I did something a little different and actually wore a wing and just like made it a little bit more custom. I guess that's what happens when inspiration strikes. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I was kind of seeking inspiration and I stumbled across a music video. Uh, it's the new 2 Chains one with Ariana Grande. I am like obsessed with the makeup look, <laughs> so today I think I'm actually gonna do something that's kind of inspired by it. Um, it's probably not gonna be exact because once again like I don't like wing liner on myself, but it'll still be liner, it'll still have a wing effect. It just won't necessarily be like an exact copycat. I'm gonna adapt it just a smidge. I'm actually gonna mix two foundations. I'm gonna do a little bit of Estee Lauder's Double Wear and a pump of Fenty as well. For my shades, I wear 345 inside Fenty, and then I wear Cashew inside Double Wear. Right, here we go. This is like actually a kind of living. It's gonna start off brighter because it's matte. least. Now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of bronzer. Be like bronzer here. Doing a caramel beauty. And I'm probably gonna layer a second one in as well. Just because in the, the video when I saw Ariana's skin it was like super super sculpted. But the undertone of it was really natural so you gotta strike that balance in between I'm getting the structure with the soft payoff. I'm gonna go on to a second shade of that. New Coco Naughty. So I feel like that's pretty accurate as far as like the depth of color. I'm gonna do a little bit of Smashbox concealer and warm medium olive. So now that I got the concealer blended in, I'm gonna dip that same sponge into my setting powder. And I'm just gonna brighten up and set everything in the center. And then right under the bones. Okay. 
it. And then I think just to close out the math section, I'm going to run a dual fiber brush through both bronzer shades one last time. So I want to make sure that the layering is just perfect. Two highlighters. One's like a really old fave, and then the other one I've kind of come to love over time. For the old fave, we're doing a little bit of Max Soft and Gentle, and then we're also gonna do You Light Up My Life from Too Faced. It's gonna balance back and forth between that more neutral pink and that gold shift. So that way skin can really come alive and look just like hers. So I'm going to start with the pink side. And hit all the high points. And swap over to the gold. So the last thing is there's this kind of like sparkly effect that she has in the video. And I have a Natasha Denona eyeshadow that I really want to try to make work in place of that. I'm just going to saturate my brush with it and give it a really nice and light speckling of glitter. Swap sides. Back on the other side. Perfect. Taking that same bronzer. I haven't actually dipped back in, we're just using what's remaining on the brush to curvature around that glow. Because it's really textured, which typically you don't want, but it looked amazing on her, so I figured it would look good on me. Start with a soft brown. And really trace out my natural curvature of the crease. And after that, I plan on putting some concealer down. Now I'm going to take the darkest matte brown and I'm just going to deepen it up so that I can get more of a smudgy and smoky crease. I'm going to take a little bit of concealer in that same shade I used under the eye and I'm just going to dot a little bit on the center of the lid because I really want to create a little pop of light 
and I have a liquid eyeshadow that I want to add in there. Take some liquid eyeshadow. This is a really soft champagne tone. Take that same brush and we're going to merge the concealer underneath with that base. Gonna take a little bit of that same dark brown and just make sure that we don't lose our dark outer corner. So, pretty pleased with that. I think I actually wanna put a little topper onto the liquid, just to make sure it pops. Just like that cheek highlight. Perfect. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of liquid liner and I am just gonna use it more so to define my eye shape. I'm not huge on a wing. So I just wanna angle it and pull. I'm gonna follow with the smudger. Now I gotta switch hands to my awkward side. Ugh. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna smudge out the other side. Taking a muted dark navy. Also darken up my bottom lash line. Okay, 
can go under. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this so much. like a dot of concealer. Way more precise than just a finger alone, I tell you. And I think the last thing is just lipsticks. I'm trying the Dior Stellar Shine in this shade Hypnotic. Ooh, it's brown. No, it's not brown. Is it brown? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it really has like a really, almost a rose shift to it. I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer. And just gonna grab a brush, sweep back and forth. And I like it so. Like checking myself out. Ooh. This is exciting. I feel like I literally got like that effect I wanted. I love the shaping of the eyes. I love the fact that I did something a little different and actually wore a wing and just like made it a little bit more custom. I feel like I have like little amber marbles in my eyes. I guess that's what happens when inspiration strikes. So if you like this video, if you found it helpful, if you think that you're gonna replicate it in any form, tag me. I'll just come put like fire emojis all underneath your post. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you all in the next one. Ouch.